Gentlemen, could you please give a warm welcome on stage to the Under Tours manager, Mr. Julian Two. You don't need a mic. Third time. Okay, um, first of all, I just want to say a big well done to all the Warriors team this season. Um, you've all been very successful in your own right. Um, ourselves, we go on progression and, imp uh, and improvement. And our improvement and progression over the past 12 months has been absolutely immense. Um, over the last two seasons, you count one hand how many points we've got as a team. Uh, this season, we've not only doubled that amount, we're now going actually into double figures and going on to 13 points if we win on Sunday. So well done, boys. Um, we just like, in our team, we just like to give kids a chance to play football and we like to make sure they enjoy themselves and we like to make sure you know, they get life experience as well and it's just a complete pleasure to manage you guys and to be part of this, uh, this football club. I'm really, really proud for you guys and I just want to say thanks to Paul and Sue for all the support they've given us over the last couple of years because without those guys um, we wouldn't be here tonight, so thank you. Okay, um, we'll get on to the trophies. You guys really, really deserve them. So I'd just like to invite Des back up onto the stage again, please. To be fair, he's not everybody's cup of tea. He's got a little bit of an attitude, but we've tried to channel that attitude into the right channels. Um, he's a fantastic talent. He's our second go top goal scorer this season with eight goals. Yeah, and he was a little bit disappointed on Thursday night when we got a penalty. I don't know he wants to catch Kane at the top, but um, he's got he's changed his attitude a lot in a minute, and he's he's turning out to be a very very good player because of it. Uh, I'm really proud he's decided to take on that route. Uh, well done, Austin Baker. Mr. Versatile, wherever he, I ask him to play, he'll play there. He's been absolutely fantastic for the last two seasons. Whether he's played in midfield or asking to go in defence, he never lets me down. He's a little pit bull. I don't want to be on the end of his, one of his tackles. And even though he's a Forest fan, I'll forgive him for that. Okay, John Joe Martin. Okay, this next player. He um, came to us in the summer. Uh, when he first came to me, I think he said he wanted to be a defender or a midfielder or an attacker. Eventually he's ended up in goal. And he's probably, he's probably been the most inspirational player we've had this season. Um, every single manager this season actually come to me at the end of the game and said, your goalkeeper is fantastic. Um, he's got a fantastic kick on him. He comes off his line, helps the defence out and he really, really has been a fantastic signing for us. Dylan Key. Well done, Dylan. You can go now. Okay, uh, the next player uh, is a character. Uh, every team needs a character and we've definitely got one with this kid. Um, if I've got a pound for every time I have to shout his name at training, or a pound every time I have to shout his name when we're warming up in a match, I'd be a very, very rich man. Um, I don't know what else I can say about him. He gives his all every time he plays. On Thursday night, he had his best 15 minutes at the start of the game he's had all season. And if he turns up with that attitude every week, then there's no reason why I can't pick him. It's George Seddon.
Okay, um, this player that by his own high standards uh, had a bit of a, a poor start to the season. Um, got an ill injury over Christmas, but he's come back uh, to the player that we all know and love. Uh, Thursday night, again in the 4 all draw against Stapleford, he scored two goals. One was an absolute worldie. How he could have scored that from out on the uh, byline, killed into the top corner. I'll never know, but it was a fantastic strike. He deserves it for all the hard work he's done since he's been injured, and I'm absolutely proud that he's part of our team. Sam Butler. Okay, so another kid that joined us in the summer, um, never played football before, and again, as a team, in the five years I've been involved with the Warriors, we've never ever turned a kid away that's come to play for us. Um, this kid knows he's not going to take five players on and score a goal into the top corner, but what he does for us, he sits in front of me back four, gives us some protection, and he's a big lad. But when he takes the ball, he also takes the player. And he's just got to learn now that he's not going to be scared about taking the player with the ball, as long as he takes the ball first. Just needs to build his confidence up a little bit, and I'm really, really glad he's part of my team. It's Daniel Bethridge. Okay, the next player. When this, uh, when Lewis came home from school one day, he said to me, "Oh, this player's coming training tonight." I said, "What? No, no, not not, not to uh, not to the Warriors." Um, I said, "You better tell the signing on form already." Um, this kid came with a great reputation from his younger days, and he fell out of love with the game. Um, but he's come back to us. He's playing now with a smile on his face. He got two goals on Thursday night. What was a penalty? Um, one of my mates who was in the crowd on Thursday said even Lee Campbell didn't save that one. It was a fantastic strike. And Ellis, I'm glad to see you smiling again. Well done, mate. Okay, this lad, bags and bags of energy, bags and bags of enthusiasm. Again, he's another kid, you know, we're 11 and 12 years old, he's got a little bit of a little bit of an attitude problem sometimes, but as long as he channels it in the right, the right ways, we can live with that. Uh, he comes on, he does me a job every time he comes on, and I've not got a bad word to say about him. Josh Clayton. Okay, this lad, um, he's been a bit, a bit unfortunate this season uh, since we've got 16 players this year. Last year we only had a squad of 12, uh, everybody got lots and lots of game time. This kid this year has struggled, as well, I've struggled to get him in as much as I would like with 16 players. When he does come in, he's never ever let me down, and I don't, I'm sorry, I know that he never will let me down. Um, he gives us his all every single time he plays. And again, he's another one that I'm just proud to be part of uh, this football team. Jacob Rowland. Okay, this lad. Um, when I look for a captain, uh, the, one, well, the two things I look for, one is a great attitude. Uh, if you've not got a great attitude, you won't be a captain in my team. The second thing is he encourages players. Now this lad will encourage players all day long. Um, when we've been on the, hand, on the end of big defeats the last two, three seasons, this kid will still try to encourage players and it just makes me really, really proud that he can do that. Um, I might be a bit biased, but you know, he's my son, but Lewis, well done, mate. <laughs> OK, 
Okay, so another kid that we uh, acquired in the summer. Um, when me and Andy saw him, the first thing we both said was defender. He reads the game fantastically. Um, and as a defender, you know, what you need to do, you need to head the ball, you need to clear the ball. And you just need to have that vision around you and have one, be one step ahead of your attackers. Um, he's playing a year under himself, uh, which makes his season that he's had all the better. Um, again, he's had a fantastic season and he'll learn from this and next year he'll be even better. It's Mark Ramsden. Okay, another, another lad that joined us just into the start of the season. Um, he's had a fantastic start to us. Um, when we, we actually beat uh, San Diego Catan, who were third in the league, came up to us with an absolutely foul attitude, thinking they were going to just roll over and kick our uh, butts. But we showed them that we weren't as easy as that. And this kid, uh, even though San Diego took the lead, um, we came back and this kid got two goals. And all of a sudden, they changed totally. Um, it's been a driving force in our midfield this season, and again, it's another one that's going to learn and grow and grow. So well done, Joe Perry. He's not with us tonight, um, but again, as a centre half, all you want to do, head the ball, clear the ball. He's another one that's never going to uh, take five players on and give me a defence splitting pass, but if we can clear my lines and take the pressure off my defence, then that's fantastic. He's had another good season, he's now learned to hold his position and not chase the ball, and he's made him a much better player for it. Uh, like I say, he's not here tonight, but it's Kyle Cork. Okay, um, this next player, uh, again, another really wholehearted player. Um, plays at right back or right midfield. Um, gives me everything every time that he comes onto the pitch. The only thing that scares me is he's a black belt at kickboxing. So when I say Darren, you're sub, I have to argue behind Andy. Um, but he's a good lad, and again, he's another one that's, uh, I'm really pleased that he's in my team. It's Darren Pikett. Okay, uh, another guy that's not with us tonight due to various uh, issues he's got. Um, he's been a little bit unfortunate this season. Again, he lost his place to Dylan in goal, but he never gave up. He decided to carry on with us and try and, and uh, get a place uh, played out for me. Uh, whenever we've needed him, he's been there. And again, whenever I've called upon him, he's given me 100%. That's Kim Moore Humphreys. Okay, there's one more to go, and again, um, unfortunately, he's not here. It's his, it's his, it's his mum's uh, sister's birthday tonight, and he's at his, his mum's party. Well, this player, he's been my top goal scorer this season. Um, I think he was joint top scorer last season as well. Um, I know the big boys are giving him trials now, and I hope to keep hold of him next season. Um, he's a natural goal scorer, and uh, for him to actually continue to play with us, yeah, he says a lot of his, uh, about his character. Um, he's a fantastic lad. Uh, it's a shame he's not here tonight because he deserves his trophy. That's Kate Picard. Okay, just before I leave the stage, I just want to say a big thank you to uh, all your parents, all the supporters that keep coming each week to support this team. Uh, this team's special to me. I've grown up with them now for five years and 
yeah, we, we don't win every week. So for us, actually, just turn up and just keep playing and keep keep enjoying it and keep having a smile on our faces. Uh, that means you know a lot to me. And uh, sometimes I get quite emotional about it. Uh, but you know, football is about winning, but it's not everything. And this team, uh, this team gives me everything. So thank you.